And now all I want is some romance between them. That's all, because that's been, you know, hinted at and confirmed over time, and I want to see it. Yeah, I want to see it too. Yeah, man. Them touching their wands together. Call me by your wand. <laughs> Heidi ho rejectos, we got ourselves a trailer for Fantastic Beasts, the Dumbledore story. The crimes of Grindeldore uh, Secret uh, What's walls. this one called? Secrets the of Dumbledore. Secrets of Dumbledore. <laughs> yes, that's what it's called. Well, leave a like if you are here. I'm sure we upset some Harry Potter fans just by butchering the title yeah. at the top. Let's do it. Memory is everything. Without it, we are blind. <clears throat> Without it, we leave the fate of our world to chance. Yeah, he is good casting. Absolutely. Stitch. I'm sorry to disturb you, Albus, but I've just received troubling news. Tell me, what is it? It's Grindelwald. Uh -huh. The time is closed, my brothers and sisters. Our war with the Muggles begins today! <laughs> the world as we know it is coming undone. If we're to defeat him, you'll have to trust me. Mr. Kowalski, we need you. I said I want an out, and I want out. Yeah. <laughs> you do know I'm a witch, right? Homeboy lost some weight. Should I give you something, Jacob? Oh, look out. <laughs> no match, no longer. Just was in a century. Who wouldn't like our chances? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no one can know everything. Not even you. What you're doing is madness. With or without you, I'll burn down their world. <laughs> <laughs> dangerous times favor dangerous men. If by tea time, all of us are still alive, you should consider our efforts a success, Mr. Kowalski. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Dumbledore took his hand. intent to turn you back on the room requirement, was it? It was you who said we could reshape the world. Even if we make mistakes. That's you! We can try to make things right. <laughs> Whoa. We're gonna need some help. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Dang! <laughs> Things are not quite what they appear. <laughs> I trust you're enjoying your wand, Mr. Kowalski. <laughs> Got a wand! <laughs> That's right, man. Newt hooked him up. Can I keep this? <laughs> no match, no longer. When did he get a one? I mean, he gives it to him like partway through the trailer. I think when he holds it up on the train and he looks at him across the bar, that's that's the moment he's given it. Oh man, there's so much happening. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I give you something, Jacob. Oh, look out. <laughs> no match, no longer. I would be uh, lying if I said I wasn't dazzled. That was pretty magical. I agree with you. That's the thing, man. That, like, these movies and this world, they do cut very enticing, very intriguing trailers. And as much as I did not care for the crimes of Grindelwald, this has me very much enticed. I gotta say, you know, Mads Mikkelsen, it's weird. When you'd say Mads Mikkelsen's cast is Grindelwald, you know, like, he's doing exactly what you'd imagine, and there's no issue with that. That. Nope. He's <laughs> too well, like, wow, you are perfect for this role. You should have been here from the start. Dude, you just upset a lot of people by saying that. Yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> unfortunate <laughs> circumstances, but we got a pretty great consolation <laughs> prize in beloved actor Mads Mikkelsen. There were so many of those scenes where they're just sitting across the dime. I'm like, I'm looking forward so much to just seeing him and Jude Law have scene work together. You know, I'm a big fan of the Hannibal series that Mads Mikkelsen was the title character for. And just seeing like them at the diner was making me fly 
clash to Hannibal of like the back and forth between protagonist and antagonist. I'm, I'm probably most looking forward to that as just a film lover. But in terms of like reinstilling excitement and hope for the Fantastic Beasts franchise, this feels the most Harry Potter esque as compared to the other two Harry Potter films, which take that what you will. Like some people might think that's a good thing, some people might think that's a bad thing. I personally found that to be pretty magical. To have this feel like a true like Dumbledore prequel mm -hmm. is really exciting. And what was the name of the of of what Ezra Miller when he's a Dumbledore? A really not a Aurelius. Aurelius, I think. It yeah. is Aurelius yeah, Dumbledore. Yeah, yeah. We gotta uncover what that is. I know that created a whole can of worms for people. Yes. Like, wait a minute, what is how is he the bro? I thought we had this established. We Where would he fit in the timeline? Why'd they forget about the third brother yet? It's like a fast and furious, you know, John Cena and Dominic Toretto <laughs> thing. Is <laughs> what yeah, they yeah, have yeah, going yeah. on over here. This just feels like it has the real spirit behind it. I think Newt's commander has been pushed more to the background <laughs> than ever. In fact, this is more like a Jacob Kowalski movie than it did a Newt's commander film. Yeah. <laughs> this absolutely did not do anything to alleviate that aspect. And I like Newt and I like what Eddie Redmayne does in that character. I'm happy that the character is still here. But even as of this trailer, every time they cut to him, I was like, oh yeah, I guess he will be in this movie. And oh yeah, I guess there will be some fantastic beasts. And oh yeah, I guess they'll find a way to make that work. I don't exactly understand why everyone's like, Newt, we need you specifically. <laughs> yeah, I mean, absolutely. The world, they can always get me back to Harry Potter with the world. And yeah, seeing, you know, the, the sprawling nature of you have Hogwarts here, you have, you know, America as well, because that was the charm of Fantastic Beasts, going to America, seeing the wizarding world there. And yeah, I mean, you don't have Queenie, you don't have Catherine Waterston. Tina? Tina, there you go. Part of me thinks that maybe... Where are they? Yeah, where the hell are they? I don't know, because I mean, Queenie went off and joined Grindelwald in the last one, spoilers, and... Uh... You did see Queenie at one point, didn't you? She maybe. Blonde, was, she had a blonde hair, It was like right? super brief flash. Yeah, 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 it was like a blonde hair Queenie. But part of me feels like... I mean, I'm setting out to prove you wrong that we saw <laughs> Queenie it. right now. Do it. This, I don't know, makes me hopeful that perhaps they have taken maybe some of the notes and complaints that Crimes of Grindelwald had levied towards it about being way too bloated and way too many characters and way too much like a novel. <laughs> it looks like this could be a well-proportioned adventure for a movie and maybe could take the best elements of the previous film and build on them here while also bringing us back to some of that nostalgic Hogwarts Harry Potter classic, you know, setting and Fox? vibe and all that. Fox the Phoenix is in here, absolutely. I'm sure Fox is gonna be an even bigger, more prominent character, being that he's a fantastic beast. And you can always find him with Dumbledore. Can't find him. Can't find it. See? So Queenie? Who knows? Maybe she's <laughs> no not even she in it. <laughs> <laughs> not found her. She's at the very end of the trailer. All right. Stupid. You're a better Harry Potter fan <laughs> yeah. than I am, all right? But hey, I, I'll say this. As as far as mining the, the trenches of Harry Potter for more content, I feel like diving into the backstory of Dumbledore and his relationship to Grindelwald is actually a pretty conscientious idea. And now all I want is some romance between them. That's all because that's been, you know, hinted at and confirmed over time, and I want to see it. Yeah, I want to see it too. Yeah, man. Them touching their wands together. Call me by your wand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think what I really desire most from this movie, more than anything, is to see a real personal tale for Dumbledore, something that feels of great consequence. You know, it's like, we know who's going to win in the end. <laughs> so yeah. if we're going to do that, let's just at least see what devastating effects and toll or sacrifices it is that, you know, Dumbledore or ultimately has to make in this movie. That's mainly it. All right, guys. Well, are you excited for Fantastic Beast 3, the Dumbledore movie? Leave your thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys soon.